This is a short video to provide an overview of the Applied Logic Engineering Panasonic GH1 uh, 3D camera controller. The controller provides three main functions. The first function is the ability to control power, focus, and shutter simultaneously to both cameras connected to the board. The second is the ability to display video sync disparity between the camcorders being controlled. This value is displayed on the LCD. The third function is a time lapse control to allow video or photos to be taken simultaneously by both cameras in increments from one second to one day. To connect each camera to the board, start by plugging in the DC power adapter into the bottom of the camera. The next step is to plug the board connector from the PC power adapter into the GH1 controller board. Next, plug the 2.5 millimeter remote control cable into the remote input of the camera. Next, plug the other end of the remote control cable into the GH1 board uh, in the jack indicated. The final step in the process for setting the camera up is to plug the adapter cable into the composite video audio jack on the camera. The other end of this cable is then inserted into the video input jack on the GH1 controller board as shown. Installation for the second camera is identical to what the steps we've just shown you for the first camera. Uh, you would connect on the right side of the board the composite video cable, the remote cable, and the DC power control cable, uh, exactly the same as uh, we've shown you on the first camera. The final step in the installation process is to connect power to the board. Plug the DC adapter into the board jack as indicated. Uh, in the center of the board and the other end of the power adapter into the wall for power. Before operating the board uh, we'll give a slight description of the controls that exist on the uh, board itself. First off there are three slide switches. Uh, the first slide switch is just above the LCD and uh, that is used to turn power on to the board itself. The second slide switch is located below the LCD and is used as the backlight uh, for the LCD. Right next to it is a third slide switch which controls the backlight to the three push buttons uh, which are located underneath the two slide switches. Over in the lower left portion of the board are a grouping of five push buttons that are used to control the menuing system on the LCD. Um, the upper button is used to upper and lower buttons are used to control up or down scroll, left right buttons for left right scroll, and the center button is a enter function. In the upper left portion of this uh, is a small potentiometer which controls the contrast of the LCD. This is preset at the factory so uh, you shouldn't have to adjust this but in case you want to uh, play with different contrast levels, you can uh, change this uh, parameter as well. The final grouping of controls are in the lower right portion of the board. Starting on the left hand side uh, is a button to control the camera power. When pressed, this will activate or deactivate power to both cameras. Next to it is the camera focus command. Uh, when pressed, this will control the focus to both cameras. And finally, the push button for camera shutter. Uh, when this is pressed it will activate the shutter for both cameras. When first powering the board on, the LCD will display three pieces of information. On the top line of the display is the video sync disparity, which right now is indicated by five blank lines. Uh, that's due to the fact that both of the cameras are currently off. 
on the second line of the display uh, the time-lapse indicator is currently showing off uh, as the time-lapse is not programmed for operation and in the lower right corner of the display is the current voltage of the DC input supply indicated in real time right now 9.1 plus volts next uh, the user would press the camera power button to turn the power on to both cameras connected to the board once the cameras are both powered up by the controller board the user would press the recycle button in order to output the necessary video signal uh, to measure the video sync disparity. This needs to be done on both cameras. Once both cameras are set up to output their video sync signals, the board will begin displaying the video sync disparity on the top line of the display. Uh, this is shown in microseconds and so in this example um, it's currently showing about a 2.3 millisecond disparity of video sync between the two cameras. To focus both cameras remotely from the controller board, the user would press the focus button which activates the automatic focus uh, sequence in both cameras. To trigger the shutter for either a photo or to begin video mode, the user would press the shutter button, which, which you can hear when that button is pressed, uh, it executes the shutter command in both cameras to take a photo or to begin the video uh, recording sequence. To enable the time-lapse operation, the user would press the right cursor key to bring up the time-lapse menu item on the LCD. By scrolling over to the right, you can set the amount of time between uh, the recording sessions or between the time that photographs would be taken. Uh, in this case, we're going to set it to 10 seconds, and then at that point, um, we enable the time-lapse function. Now what you'll see on the screen is a countdown of the time-lapse operation and when it reaches zero, a photograph is taken and then it begins uh, resetting the time-lapse time and timing out the time sequence again. This process repeats until the user uh, manually turns the time-lapse function off again by going into the menuing system and selecting off. Well that concludes our overview of the Applied Logic Engineering GH1 3D controller. Um, there are many new functions that are going to be added to this board as the firmware is developed and so there will be uh, additional capabilities as this product evolves. Thank you.